Hello and welcome to this MicroScan video tutorial on how to use the MicroHawk barcode readers. In this lesson, we will walk through the WebLink interface, which you can use to configure the reader and view the reading results. First, let's open up a new internet browser page. Then, to connect to the reader, simply type the IP address of the reader to the address bar. Now we are connected to the device, and we can see the WebLink interface. On the top left corner, there are three buttons. This is the navigation bar with buttons for three primary views. The Start view, the Setup view, and the Run view. On the right side, we have three icons. The first one is the Save to Flash button. If you press this button, you can save all the current settings to the flash memory of the reader. The icon with the question mark will open the WebLink help file, and as you can see, we can browse through the help files and have all the information needed in order to work with the device. The gear button will open up a new window with several extra features. Let's go through them. The first icon is the Save button. Using this button, you can save a setup to the disk. It will save a WLS file. You can use these buttons to create new file settings or load existing file settings from the hard disk. If we press the Advanced Features button, there are many more detailed features that we can configure. We'll go through these later in the next part of the lesson. The Language button will give us the option to select the language that we want for the WebLink interface. The terminal window shows the serial communication between the PC and the readers. As you can see, we can view all the communication back and forth, to the reader and from the reader. These are K commands that we use in order to communicate with the reader and configure different settings. The beeper will give us a beep each time we have a successful read. Let's disable it for now. The guided tour feature, which will take us through very extensive help, will show us all the important areas and buttons. Image storage shows all the options for saving images such as file format and location. Basically, everything that is connected to saving images. The Restore Default Settings button will bring back the default settings to the device as it was released from the factory. Manage Login is the area where we can limit the access to WebLink by giving our own password. The WebLink Branding Utility is a way to give companies the option to brand the WebLink interface. For example, when selling to third parties. The About WebLink window will give us all the details about the reader and the versions. In the Setup mode, we will see on the left panel many more reader configuration details. 
we have the cycle sequence configurations, where we can select which mode you want to work in, such as continuous or triggered mode. We have the acquire settings, with photometric settings such as exposure time. The decode area contains the symbol selection. In the output configuration settings, we can set discrete outputs or formatted output and setting preamble and postamble. We also have the favorites menu where we can select our frequently used configurations. The right panel of the web link interface shows the counts of reads and no reads, read rate, decode time, and capture time. It gives a graph of the read time, and it shows us the real output data. The image area of WebLink in the center is the main focus of WebLink. This area allows us to see what currently falls inside the reader's field of view. It offers us several image controls, like the ones we see on this button bar. For example, here we have a Start Stop button. With this feature, we can adjust the window of interest and change it as we like. With the Next button, we can enable and disable the auto photometry settings. And once we press the button, we can change, for example, the exposure time and select our own exposure time. Using the Next button, we can enable or disable the autofocus feature. This will focus the camera on the sample at any distance that we place it, within the specifications. The Train button performs a full system calibration to find the best photometry settings for the reading situation. The Optimize button will save relevant information about the symbol, allowing the optimal reading sequence. On the right side of the top of the image area, we can see standard image settings such as zoom in and zoom out. To save an image, press the Save button. Then we can see the clean image. And we can save the picture either as a compressed image or a bitmap. Now we can enter the run mode. And here, because we are currently on triggered mode, each time we press trigger, you will see the results. The image will be in the center. You will have a film strip with all the latest images. And the reading results on the right side. Thank you for watching. This was part one of the full walkthrough of the WebLink interface.